All right, how you doing today? Today we'll be taking a look at U-Jam's Beatmaker Circuit. Uh, this is like vintage drum machines. They have a whole series of different Beatmaker plugins, all kinds of different genres of music and samples and sounds and that. Uh, I've made a bunch of other videos on U-Jam products, pianos, basses, drums, guitars, all kind of really cool stuff. You can check out the playlist I have on my channel here if you want to check out that. And there is a 30-day free trial you can use the link in the video description below. So Circuits is analog drum machines. Uh, they got 20 styles, 50 presets, 10 drum kits, 460 patterns that are MIDI drag and drop, resizable user interface, and a bunch of other really cool stuff. So let's just get right into this. We'll go over the interface, demo some sounds and everything, see how the whole thing works. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we are on the interface of the Beatmaker Circuits, and we have 10 different drum kits over here that we can select from. We could do it from these buttons or just do that thing there. We can get rid of uh, this button here, slider rather, is for eliminating the snare or the kick drum from a pattern that you're playing down here. So if you want to kick the kick out, it's really simple to do that. Then we have a boost for the sounds as well. Uh, over here, we have different mixer presets, and we have the intensity of that and the amount and so on and so forth. Uh, we have two different presets here. We have the factory presets up here that will change the drum kit and the patterns that are playing down here. Um, and then we could change these patterns by themselves as well. So we got all these different patterns and they have beat suggestions in here, but they are MIDI, so you could use them at any tempo. And these are the beats that are laid out on the keyboards, C3, uh, C4, up to C5 is a stop. And this is pretty much laid out really simply. You got some intros here, um, then you got the verse patterns, and you got some chorus patterns, then you have fills, then endings, breakdown section. So you get all kinds of different uh, variations and they tend to get simpler as you move up so the verses here is going to be a simpler verse and then it gets a little more complicated for example so it just adds a little more and then we have over here we have the drum kits that you can play on your keyboard starting with c1 So you could use this as just this, create your own patterns. You could use the patterns. These are MIDI drag and drop, so you can drag them into your DAW, the patterns here. Um, so that's cool as well. And then we have some other features, latch, that's just gonna turn on. So when I hit this key here, it's just gonna keep playing until I hit the next one. There's a stop key there. And as you notice, when it went from here, I, hit, I did the fill, hit the fill key, it went right back to there. That's latch. If I turn latch off, it's only gonna play the loop as long as I have the key held down. See? And then we get some micro timing here. Uh, speed, half time, double time. We have a swing fill here. Uh, this is for the sync here. So if you want for the song position, on the quarter notes, 16th notes, and so on and so forth when you're switching patterns. That's all good and fun there. And then down here, we have each drum sound will have its own little parameters down here that you can change. You could even change the kick drum within a drum kit. So more variations. Let's change the kit there. Change it again. And then we have a pitch control, delay, uh, decay rather, volume and filter. And then we have a master out and we can go into individual outs as well. You can mute the kick drum if you want, which is another thing that this does up here. And you can use your uh, pitch wheel keys on your keyboard for these controls too. So let's see what else we got here. So every sound has its own parameters for this. Like I said, change the pitch.
filter. Pitch the whole thing out. <laughs> and then our master controls, we have a sweep, which is cool. Saturation, maximize ambience, and we get some uh, reverb settings down here for that. Now again, when you change these presets, all the stuff will change, and then you can tweak from there, or everything's kind of changed on its own. The patterns down here changed. And you can tweak your stuff yourself. So that's pretty much the interface and everything. And also we have the key thing here where we could enlarge it, make it smaller. Uh, so if you need more screen real estate, and then we have an info box up here, all your fun stuff like that. And then of course you can save your own presets, save as, and so on and so forth. All right, so let's check out some of the sounds in this thing, some of the beats, some of the presets, and we'll just go through some and see what we come up with. Let's go.
All right, so cool. As you can see, I'm just messing around here, uh, going through different patterns and tweaking some kits and such, all kind of really cool things. Um, say you like this beat, for example, but you want to change the kit. You can do so very easily. Let's see what else we got here. All right, cool. So endless uh, creativity here, coming up with some really cool beats. Um, I'm just scratching the surface. Again, you could program your own beats, of course, which could be a lot of fun. And you could take these beats and edit them. Take those beats, edit them in the MIDI file if you want to. A little drag and drop. And then just go in here and do what you need to do if you want to take out this or whatever. Or maybe you want a hi-hat pattern, who knows? Anyways, there's a link in the video description below for a 30 day trial and check it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Please do subscribe to the channel. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.